Welcome to this video which will show you how to use an optimization parameter in Analytics Solver Platform or a subset product such as Risk Solver Platform, Premium Solver Platform, Analytics Solver Pro, or Premium Solver Pro. Recall in our first video that we solved this optimization model which maximizes the total profit from three products subject to inventory constraints. At present this model is very static meaning that all of our profit points and inventory levels are constant. In the real world, we know this isn't true. Suppose we wanted to see how our total profit was affected as the profit per TV ranged from 50 up to 100. We could, I suppose, solve this model multiple times, entering a new profit for LCD TVs and noting the objective function and variable values after each solve. Or we could use the optimization parameter PSI op param to do this for us. In cell C16, we will enter the function PSI op param with two arguments, 50 for the lower bound and 100 for the upper bound. If we run 11 different optimizations, then in the first optimization, the value of C16 will be 50. The value of C16 in the second optimization will be 55, and the value of C16 in the third optimization will be 60, and so on. For each optimization, Solver will keep track of the objective function, variable values, and any other cell that you deem important. There are several ways in which to view the results of these optimizations. The first is to use the PSI op value function. I'll use this function to display the solution for each optimization on the worksheet. I'll label these cells with our optimization number all the way down to 11. No. Here, I will use PSI opt value. For our first argument, I'll reference our objective function since this is the cell that I want to monitor. And I'll use the F4 key to anchor this cell. And then for our second argument, I'm going to use the optimization run number. And then I can just copy this down. I'm also going to use PSI op value here so that I can see what profit was used for each optimization. Next, I'll click the platform tab and set the optimizations to run to 11. Then I'll click the engine tab to confirm that automatically select engine is selected. And now I'm ready to solve. I'm going to click Analytics Solver Platform, Optimize, Solve Complete Model. In a fraction of one second, 11 optimizations are solved. We can see our results here. So for the first optimization, our profit per TV was $50, which gave us a total profit of $24,000. In our second optimization, the profit per TV was $55. And again, our objective function was $24,000. Now we see that as our profit per TV increases, so does our total profit. The second way to view our results is to select a specific optimization from this drop-down window, such as optimization number three. And if we look up here, we can see our final variable values and our final objective. And as you can see, the objective 24,000 matches the objective for the third optimization. I could select another, let's say optimization number eight. And again, we see our variable values change to the final variable values for optimization number eight. And our objective function is 27,000, which matches our objective here. The third way is to go to reports, optimization, parameter analysis. We will select objective, variables, along with our PSI opt value parameter, and then say OK. This report shows, by optimization, our parameter value in column A, our objective function value in column B, and our final variable values in columns C, D, and E. To view these same results in a chart, we can click back to our product mix example and click 
charts, multiple optimizations, monitored cells. Here we'll select our objective and click OK. Here we see again that as the number of optimizations increase, so does our objective function. Click here to open the side panel and select Use Labels. Now we can see the exact value of our objective function. To gain just a bit more insight, we can select Chart Options and then select our PSI Op Param. Now we can see that as the profit per TV increases, so does our objective function value. To conclude, Frontline Solvers for Optimization not only allow you to use the latest optimization techniques to solve a model, but also allow you to perform a parameter analysis, which gives you much insight into your model's solution quickly and efficiently. If you have any questions or problems, please contact us at www.solver.com.